the process really involved reviewing quite a few other companies out there that create robotic palletizers, both uh, Cobot and non-Cobot. We had to make sure that the robots were installed in very close proximity to the conveyors um, and also our main forklift transportation lane. One of the requirements was that the robot took up very little space. So that's where the cobots really come in. In my previous factories I've worked with, we had uh, large industrial robots and the kinds that were behind the safety cages. Um, a lot of the challenges were the amount of time it took them to get installed and programmed and then the specialty work that needed to be done by the integrators that you couldn't do at a factory level. Um, so we didn't want to spend frankly, a million dollars to put in a high-speed robot with all the safety guarding, um, knowing that our workforce doesn't have the technical capabilities to work with those types of robots. So that's where a collaborative robot really met our needs, knowing that we could do it, didn't require special safety guarding, um, so any employee can walk up to it without fear, uh, literally, and the fact that they're so easy for us to program. We're a rapidly changing uh, product portfolio by design. We have to be. That's what we do as co-manufacturers. So if we have a tool that only works for one process, it's not useful to us. We narrowed it down to three uh, Cobot solutions. Actually, two were purchased and one was as a robot as a service company. Um, we went with Robotique and Olympus Controls in large part because the speed with which they got back to us and explained the solution. Olympus Controls did a fantastic job walking us through everything that we could expect, how it would work, who the people would be here um, to put them in, and for lack of a better term, real white glove service. They really held us by the hand and said, this is what's gonna be, and then they lived up to it. The timeline for our first one was really tight. Matt and Gina from Olympus Controls came out and worked to get the first robot up and running. Uh, and realistically, within a few days, they had it assembled and started programming different pallets, different configurations. We ran probably seven pallets that day, just watching, just seeing like what little things pop up and uh, how can we avoid those things happening? So we put in some uh, logic to make sure that the vacuum gripper where there's not a good pick, the customer has a solution built into the program already. Uh, it was just two and a half days. First day was just mechanical install. Second day was programming and software and debugging. And the third day was really just training and getting everyone up to speed on it. The fact that it went in so flawlessly really made it easy for folks to say, yeah, this is something that's gonna make our lives a lot better. It was valuable to Olympus and Cascade Coffee to have a Robotech engineer on site for the first install as he ensured a smooth process and uh, demonstrated the best practices for installation. Having David there to you know, tell us like, hey, this is what the crate looks like when it comes in. Here are the bolts you need to unscrew to make sure uh, you have easy access. Here's, uh, put this block under the seventh axis and lift it up this way. Having those steps outlined right away made the next few installs just super smooth. It was up and running inside of a week and we received enough training inside that week from Robotique and Olympus Controls that we felt fully confident once they left and the palletizer was fully functional. I do know that the robotic coach was enormous because Dennis is very particular. He's also our director of IT. So he's got a computer background. He's worked with some of the biggest companies in the world, both engineering, but also in IT. His mind is very much geared toward understanding software solutions. So it was very important to him that he was able to do it. Dennis has also stayed in touch. So um, we've got some of the first applications that Robotique was able to push out, like the double case pick. Um, we put that in quite quickly because Dennis was comfortable that he would know how to do with the software. And that's all because of the quality of the coach able to show Dennis exactly how to do it. Robotique and Olympus already have a really good relationship. I talk to the sales and support team weekly, so I know people by name and their cell phone numbers. And so anytime I need something or just a quick answer, uh, I feel like I can call and get um, resolution right away. 
Uh, for Cascade Coffee, that was important because these small issues came up. But having them just a phone call away to be like, what's going on here? Um, really saved time. Solving problems quicker is obviously very valuable to the customer. By having open lines of communication between Robotique, Cascade, and Olympus Controls, we're able to more effectively help the customer when they needed something. Uh, the relationship is incredibly important, uh, so much so that when we bought the first one and then placed the order for the next five, um, we are private equity uh, partially owned. Um, I involved our CEO in the private equity company so that we could begin to grow a relationship with Olympus Controls and also Robotique. Our vision is to have several more of these uh, robotic solutions in our factory over the next several years and having that relationship, knowing that we've got a partner we can reach out to either A, when we've got problems, or more important to me is if there's a solution that we don't even know exists, that it can be presented to us so that we can look for applications in our factory um, down the road.